I'm about to show you how to create a video sales letter that doubles your close rate, pre-sales prospects, and prevents yourself from explaining yourself on sales calls over and over and over without paying a video production team 10 to 30K plus, getting a professional camera, or getting writer's block. So I'm gonna get right into it. Basically, this video is for B2B service-based businesses, high-ticket B2C coaches, freelancers, and software companies. So let's just start with the basics. What even is a video sales letter? So a VSL is a sales letter in video format. Essentially, it's a set of words that convinces your prospect to take a certain action. For most people, usually that action is to make a purchase. So here I have an example of what this looks like. This is one of our clients we made a VSL for, and he's literally just screen recording himself reading over a gamut document, and we put edits on top. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this all the way from how to write the gamma doc to what your editing should look like. So this is what your editing should look like, literally just reading over the doc and then pop-ups that help explain what's being said on screen. You could also use a highlighter to highlight certain aspects. So what's the benefit of using Gamma to create a VSL? Your VSL script will be written inside of a Gamma document. The Gamma doc is the sales letter aspect. And then you'll record yourself reading the Gamma doc, which is the video sales letter aspect. So basically, just to recap, the sales letter is the Gamma doc itself in document format, and it turns into a video sales letter once you record yourself reading it. The best part about using Gamma for this is that you can send the document to prospects before sales calls to help pre-qualify educate and also pre-close them. Ever since my clients switched over to using a Gamma Doc VSL, they've been closing way more deals. While most people don't accommodate for those who don't like watching videos, you'll be appealing to the entire market. If they want to watch a video, cool, here you go. If they want to read a doc, cool, got that too. Another point, Gamma is so visually pleasing and flexible. This allows you to create VSLs that have extremely high watch time compared to the average boring VSL. Not only can the doc be seen on all platforms and still look phenomenal, it can also be viewed on mobile and shared with ease with the link. I'm talking about the doc here. So now I'm going to walk you guys through how to structure your Gamma Doc VSL. So the Gamma document itself. First things first, intro. You want to lead with your offer, right? So you're going to start off by just calling out your target audience. So let's say you're targeting e-com brands. You're just going to say attention e-com brands making over 100k a month. Super simple. And then after that comes your offer. So you want to clearly articulate what you're offering and the outcomes that will come from it. You want to make sure you use language that will resonate with your audience. And you also want to try to create as much curiosity as possible to keep viewers on the edge of their seats and wanting to hear what you say next. So call out the target audience. And then after that is really your offer, right? So I broke down the offer into four steps. So it's going to be desired outcome, time frame, unique mechanism, guaranteed. So in my case, it would be attention B2B businesses and high ticket coaches over 30K a month. I guarantee you I'll get you 10 to 30 qualified calls every single month or you don't pay without spending a single penny on ads. At the end there, I have a without statement. So it says without common pain point. Not a lot of people want to spend money on ads. So that's why I have that part in there. Next up is a quick description of who you are. So you want to keep this super, super short. When I did it in my sales letter, I did it kind of long, but you actually want to shorten it a bit. So here you're going to briefly introduce yourself, highlight your expertise and experience. This will allow viewers to have a face to connect to rather than a corporate feeling logo. You need to show that you have an online social presence by plugging your social media handles. This allows viewers to stock and familiarize themselves with you, which will make selling them way easier. Make sure to include a credibility statement to give listeners a reason to listen to you. So here's an example of what I did. I said, quick 45 second background. My name is Eamon and I'm the founder at TickScale. I've been in the YouTube scene since 2014. So just to add some context to this, I run a YouTube marketing agency called TickScale. Let's continue. Although I wasn't adding hundreds of thousands in revenue to B2B businesses at the time, I was still creating entertaining gaming videos regularly. Here's proof. So then this is me. You can clearly see 2016, I was posting. This is what differentiates me from every other content agency. From a young age, I invested thousands of hours into learning how to find low competition video concepts and fill the gaps in the market with exactly what it wanted to see. I went from editing video game footage to working with some of the biggest names in the info marketing B2B space to date. And then I have a screenshot of some people I work with. And then this is the last bit. I said, when I started TickScale, I was your everyday average short form content agency. Fun fact, I'm actually the one who created the popular 60 shorts in two hours offer. After three months of mediocre client results and a million clones copying my offer word for word, I knew it was time to make a switch. At the time, I was making a long form YouTube content for only one of my clients. Funny enough, he was the one getting the best results. That's when I pivoted to making long form YouTube content instead of short form as the main priority. Right after the intro, you want to get straight into showing client results, like no gap at all. Why would someone take a chance on someone with no proof they can 
perform. It'd be like asking someone to buy a lottery ticket because you're really just a gamble. And the fact that there are people out there who actually do have results makes choosing you a lot more undesirable. In your BSL, you wanna make sure to present specific quantifiable results that you have delivered to clients. Use visuals to break up the text and make it digestible for viewers. And you wanna plug testimonials and case studies in between to reinforce and add a little spice to your already impressive results. So if you're watching this and you don't have any client results, don't worry, there's still help. Present relevant statistics from outside sources instead. This will prove that your claims and offer work for other people. Just make sure you explicitly state that those results aren't yours. After that comes the part that says what they're missing out on. This is your opportunity to explain to your prospect why they need your product slash service in the first place. For example, if you're selling email marketing to e-com brands, you need to explain that the money is made by retaining customers. So you tell them you can't be in an endless limbo of spending money to acquire a customer that only pays you once. If you're not doing email marketing properly, you're missing out on potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now the prospect's gonna read or hear this and they're gonna say, damn, I need email marketing right now. After that comes the process. So this is going to be a bit long, right? The better they understand what you're selling, the more likely they'll buy. Think about it. Would you buy something if it felt like a shot in the dark? Or would you prefer knowing you hired the right guy for the job beforehand? Yep. Option two wins every single time. So here you're basically going to break down like step by step what exactly it is that you do. And along the way, you're going to be giving away free value and secrets. Okay. So for the detailed explanation, you want to break down your process into detailed steps, explaining the what, the why and the how. Your goal is to make it as clear as possible how you'll be taking them from point A to point B. Don't be afraid to talk about the technical aspects involved. So for example, if you're a cold email lead generation agency, you really want to go in depth about how you're buying 10, 20, even 30 domains to split the sending volume and just get super technical. Like I guarantee half of you didn't even understand what the heck I just said, but that's exactly what makes people want to book a call because they're going to see, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. He's saying a ton of technical jargon. Just make sure it's actually valid because if somebody's watching this BSL and they know cold email and they see that you're just saying random words, they're not going to book a call. So you're going to lose a lead. For this value and secrets part, this is just going to help build trust and rapport with the audience for one massive reason. You've now differentiated yourself from the majority of people who lead with the invoice rather than with value. You're showing them that you're on their side. You'll also want to bake in some examples. You're going to want to show how you did XYZ thing for another e-com brand as you're explaining the process. So this is going to add to their understanding of how you can help them. It'll also give them a chance to see who you've worked with in the past, who've succeeded things. To you. Use visuals like this one below to make examples more compelling and easy to digest. So for example, here I'm saying you give value, provide an explanation, show examples, trust increases, give more value, and it keeps going. So you want to use cool graphics like this. Gamma is super good for doing this. They have a ton of templates, formats, callout blocks, layout options, and it really just never ends. And they're constantly adding new features as well. Next up is social proof again. Surprise, surprise. We're going to keep on sprinkling social proof throughout the entire document. Here are the most impactful types of social proof ranked. Number one, one is client interviews. Okay. Number two is screenshots showing results. So like Clavio screenshots, maybe a YouTube dashboard, Instagram dashboard, etc. Number three is video testimonials. So this is going to be like an iPhone vertical selfie video type of thing. And then number four is text message screenshots. Let me explain why this is ranked the way it is. Number one is client interviews, because when you hop on an interview with your client, you take the frame and you ask them specific questions and you're in control of what's being said, right? However, for video testimonials, why it's at number three is because sometimes the client's just going to ramble and say random stuff. Number two is at number two because screenshots are extremely powerful. Let's say, you know, you're trying to sell YouTube marketing to a YouTuber. He spends a lot of hours per day in the YouTube dashboard, right? So if you show a screenshot of a YouTube dashboard, that's something that he understands. And finally, we have text message screenshots at the bottom just because of how easily they can be faked. Most people don't even trust them in the first place. Next up is your risk reversal. So here, if you have a guarantee, you'll want to bring it up here once more. If you don't have a guarantee, just skip this step. It is not required. Okay. But you will make more money if you have a guarantee. So you're going to restate your offer clearly. Okay. You want to emphasize its unique aspects and benefits. And you also want to use persuasive language to reinforce the value of the offer. After restating your offer, then you're going to state the guarantee. Okay, you want to make sure it's specific, measurable, and time bound. If they're still on the fence, the guarantee is going to push them over and get them on the phone. Next up is the FAQ section, which is basically just addressing objections. So FAQ stands for frequently asked questions. Here, you're going to want to list and address all the possible and relevant objections that your prospects might have. While you're at it, demonstrate how your offer and unique mechanism can solve these objections. This will leave them speechless because, well, what are you going to say now, right? You've backed them up into a corner. If done right, the only response they'll have to say is yes, because you answered all their questions. Additionally, you'll want to include a handful of common questions you get on sales calls to satisfy prospects that always have tons of questions. So for example, let's say you're selling YouTube marketing like me. A lot of
lot of people ask you, hey, what's the average duration of a video? So then I'm gonna put that in the FAQ. I'm gonna say 10 to 15 minutes final duration. And then maybe another common question is how many videos per month are we doing? So I'm gonna say four. And then another common question could be what type of results could we expect? And I'm gonna write down 10 to 30 qualified calls or you don't pay. After you address all the common objections and the frequently asked questions comes the comparison with alternatives. Here you're gonna present alternatives and clearly show how your offer is superior. But make sure you leverage facts, statistics, and logical arguments to make your case. For example, if you're selling cold email lead generation to B2B companies, you'll want to compare your service to having an in-house SDR as that's the closest comparison. If you're selling e-com email marketing, the closest comparison is gonna be an in-house designer plus an in-house copywriter and maybe a Klaviyo technician. And this is how you're gonna to wanna to set it up inside of Gamma. You're gonna use a grid and then on the left, you're gonna say the payment structure, days off, recruitment costs, onboarding time, weekly time invested, overall chance of getting results. That's the left column. And then on the top row here, you're gonna say in-house sales rep, our cold email agency. So really we're just positioning our product as much better than the alternative. Super simple. I also like to use colored highlights to aspect why something is positive or negative. Next up is pricing and ROI. So here you're gonna to to explain your pricing, but if you don't wanna give it away publicly, just state the pricing model. So is it a monthly retainer? Is it a rep share, paper call, peer performance, etc. Next up, social proof once again. So just when they think the VSL is ending and you've already showed them your success stories, sucker punch them with more social proof. The added case studies and testimonials will strengthen your credibility. Get creative and use multiple formats to put your social work on display. So for example, maybe you used a client interview before, you can reuse that same case study and maybe you have a Slack screenshot, right? So you can reuse the same testimonials. That way viewers pay attention to each one instead of tuning some out. Next up, we're almost done. You're gonna state who this is for and who it's not for. So this is gonna be specific targeting. Okay, we're gonna clearly state who your offer is for by specifying the characteristics of your ideal client. Make it so they nod and say, okay, yep, that's me as they go down the list. Maybe try integrating something that both strokes their ego and makes saying no difficult, such as you're actually serious about your business, right? But this is how you would actually format it. So you'd say e-commerce brands doing over 50K a month who don't have any email marketing and you're running paid ads and you're also serious about your business. Something like that. You don't actually have to do this part. It's kind of there just to crack a bit of a joke, if you know what I mean. One more thing I want to say is you can get even more specific. So you can say health and wellness brands doing over 50K a month with an email list size of above 20K, something like that. Or you could even start talking about LTV, like their lifetime value of each customer. Maybe you only work with e-com brands who have an LTV of over hundred bucks. So you're going to want to just state every Everything before the sales call. Next up is the exclusion criteria. So you're gonna explicitly mention who the offer is not for to avoid mismatched expectation and to save you time by making viewers self disqualified before they try booking a call. Because getting on unqualified calls is the worst thing as a business owner or a sales rep. The final step is the conclusion. So here we're just gonna wrap up loose ends. So you're gonna summarize the key points of the VSL and re emphasize the value of your offer. That way they won't forget the good stuff, right? And then you're gonna include a call to action. You wanna clearly guide the audience to the next steps they should take, whether that's booking a call, whether that's submitting an application, whatever that looks like for you. Because a confused prospect is a lost prospect. If they don't know the next step that they should take after watching your VSL, you're going to lose the lead. You want to make the CTA specific, actionable, and urgent to prompt immediate action. That's the entire VSL. Now I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. Let's start with some guidelines, okay? It's not just what you say, but how you say it. Here's how to guarantee your message gets delivered on a silver platter. First up, clarity and conciseness. Maintain clarity and conciseness throughout the entire VSL to ensure the audience can easily understand the offer, process, and value. You want to avoid jargon and complex language, unless if you're going through the process, that's fine. And you just want to keep it simple and direct. Credibility and authenticity. You want to use authentic client results, okay? Don't fake anything. And when you're displaying your results, make sure they're extremely clear. You can even use highlights on top of the screenshot or red boxes to make sure people's eyes look at the right part of the screenshot. Next up, market research. You need to conduct thorough market research to understand the target audience before you record this VSL. Then you want to use the insights from your research to tailor the VSL sell content to the target audience's needs. You can also use your sales calls. You can pull the transcripts from them, check out which objections are very common, and then use that as your market research. Next up, like I told you guys earlier, you want some free value. Okay, inside the VSL, just make sure you sprinkle in free value, whether that's telling people, hey, if you're running Clavio, you need to design your emails, or maybe that's if you're running cold emails, you need to have at 
least 20 domains with two inboxes each. So just like giving some free little nuggets of value here and there. Next up, we got visual consistency. Okay, so let's say you're using green as your main color. Don't just randomly use pink or something like that, right? You wanna use visuals, graphics, and different text formats to maintain attention and make sure colors are consistent throughout. Using visuals is gonna break up massive chunks of text, just like I'm doing right here, right? Instead of just putting this as a huge paragraph, I'm splitting it up using visual templates thanks to Gamma. All right, I know you're probably wondering, how do you even record the VSL? Okay, so this is what it looks like after you record it, right? Document on the right, camera on the left. OBS is the recording software I usually recommend people use. It's free and it's not too complicated. It also has a lot of flexibility. There's also Screen Studio, which is an even simpler alternative. However, it's built for MacBooks specifically. It's perfect for screen recording videos. However, you're also limited to having your face in a corner rather than being able to make it take up a third of your screen, just like in the screenshot I showed you above. Overall, OBS and Screen Studio are great options. I go with OBS 100% of the time due to the flexibility it allows you to have with your face cam position slash size. At the end of the day, it's not a big deal whether you use OBS, Screen Studio, or Loom, but the important part is getting valuable content out there in the first place. And then next up, we got what gear should you use? So you can use any iPhone or any 1080p webcam. The important part is your lighting. I'm recording as we speak using my iPhone camera, not a MacBook built-in webcam, and a pair of $50 LED panels. This is what they look like, right? Like super bare bones, super simple, nothing crazy. Don't overcomplicate it. In terms of editing the VSL, in an ideal world, you get your VSL edited. A change from 10 to 20% in watch time is extremely easy to do by simply editing the video. And if you double your watch time, you're gonna double the amount of sales calls you book. Your editing should look exactly like how this video is being edited right now. The best editing software is Adobe Premiere Pro in case you want to do it yourself, but I highly recommend you hire a video editor. This VSL format works. We've produced well over 10 VSLs for high ticket B2B businesses, and every single one of them has seen an increase in revenue afterwards. So this is Daniel Fazio, a co-founder at ClientAscension.com. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to embed the video here, but if you'd like to view it, you just have to go to ClientAscension.com or this different website to opt in. This is two separate VSLs we produced. We did the editing for these. And then for some other clients, we also script out the entire Gamma doc for them. So I'm super well versed in this. I've done it well over 10 times and I know exactly how to do it and how to make it work. So if you take all this info I just gave you today and apply it, you will make more money as a result. Here's another example. So this is Isaac Wood. He has a cold email lead generation agency. This is him recording in that same format and he's got some editing. You don't want to go too over the top with the editing. Just copy the video that you're watching right now. Like this video, you know, I'm talking right now, just copy it. Or you could copy any of these VSLs. It's super, super simple. You don't want to go over the top because what's going to happen is if you do too much, it's going to make people feel feel like, okay, this is a weird persuasive video, feels scammy, right? You want to use edits that clarify what's being said on the screen. Once again, you need to use Gamma to create your VSL. Do not use Google Docs, okay? If you want to try Gamma for free, hit the first link in the description. That's everything for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and that's it. Peace.